So in a squat, unless otherwise said, feet would be about hip width apart, all 10 toes straight ahead. And if you need to modify, you would only drop about a quarter of the way down, just to minimize stress on the knees if that's where the issue is. But again, the modification would be just a kind of a baby bend in the knees and then standing up. I like to reach the arms forwards here. It kind of serves as a counterbalance and then stand up. And every time you stand up, you're focusing on engaging your quadriceps and your glutes. So if you don't need to modify, then you can drop those hips down almost even with the knees. And again, the arms are going to reach out. It's an inhale breath as you drop and then an exhale breath as you're standing up engaging again the quads and the glutes. So inhale, breath, drop, and then exhale up. Inhale, breath, squat, and then exhale, breath up. So from the side, the way that would look, again, the modified, it's just a little bit of a bend in the knee. Arms are reaching forwards, trying to keep that back nice and straight, not too rounded and not too overarched. So it's hard to see your own self when you squat, but I'll be helping you with that. And then standing back up again, tightening in the glutes. So inhale, drop. And then exhale, breath up. <sighs> inhale, breath, drop. And then exhale, breath up. Modified here and up, making sure that the weight is evenly distributed on the feet. You don't want too much weight forwards where the heels are popping up, but neither do you want it to be too far back where you feel like you're going to fall over. So that's the squat. Uh, next is going to be reverse lunges, starting with the feet fairly close together, the modified way. You can park one or both hands on this upper quad as you step up, and then come back up and switching legs, reverse lunge, and up. So when you do the reverse lunge in the modified manner, it's going to be a much smaller step back and a smaller bend in the knee, so you're not dropping really low to the floor. And then when you come up, you switch. Inhale down, and then exhale up. Not modifying, you could just extend the arms forwards, bend both knees more, and take a bigger step back, and then push to come back, feet together. Inhale down, and then exhale up. Inhale, reverse lunge, and then exhale up from the side. Modified would look like this. So notice the step is smaller, the knee bend is smaller, hands here for a little bit of support, and then up, switch over to the other side. Inhale down, exhale up. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. And if you don't need to modify, again, bigger step back, both knees bending an equal amount. So not too much back here or too forwards there. Try to keep the back straight, shoulders lined up over hips and both knees bending an equal amount and then stepping up. Inhale, lunge, exhale up, inhale, reverse lunge, exhale, breath up, inhale down, and exhale up. Next, I'm going to show you a hand release push-up. So there's two ways to do this. I'll start with the modified version and then show you how to do it not modified. So modified, you would be on your knees, we call it bent knee, push up, hands a little bit wider, and shoulder distance apart. Nice straight line from shoulders to knees. So as you lower down, it's an inhale breath, and you're gonna come all the way down, like totally whole body down, hands up, hands down, push yourself back up. So inhale, drop, hands up, hands down, exhale, press, and then one more like this, inhale down, hands up, hands down, and then exhale, press. So the next level is a lot harder because it's more body weight, so the straight leg version. Same deal, I'll just show you one. I kind of have a little shoulder deal going on here today. So legs are straight, it's inhale down, all the way, hands up, hands down, and then push back up to straight arms. So there you go with the hand release push up. Next is the plank, and there's again two different ways to do that one. So the non-modified way, um, is either straight arms or you can do bent elbow version of the plank. So the legs stay straight. You just want to imagine a straight line from the shoulder all the way down to the heels and the abdominal muscles pulling up and in towards the back of your spine. So however long you can hold it here, 
You can drop down to the knees if you need to start off that way. This would be your modified version. So just pulling those belly buttons upwards towards your back, straightening the legs if you feel you can do a little bit more intense version. So there you go with plank. And then lastly, I'm going to show you down dog, some stretching that we'll probably include at the end of the class. So down dog, the hips are up, the heels are pressing towards the back of the mat or the floor, head is right in between the arms, arms super straight, and just simply breathing, feeling that stretch down the back of the leg, the hamstrings, chest, shoulders, lots of different muscle groups getting stretched. 